Good morning, everybody. This is Grandma coming at you this morning. I want to get on here and show you how I make my tuna noodle casserole. I was asked last night if I knew how to make it, if I could make a video. So, yep, I am going to make a video for you. So, hope you like it. Okay, first of all, you everybody knows how to boil egg noodles. Okay, this is a half a bag of egg noodles. Then, to this, I'm going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup now this is how I make mine everybody makes it different this is just how I make my tuna casserole then I'm going to put in one can of cream of celery okay Then I'm going to add in a little bit of black pepper to your tasting. Some pink Himalayan salt. Okay. Give us a mix. I hope y'all like this uh, recipe. You can actually put in whatever you like. It's very versatile. You can put whatever you like into this casserole. This is a good quick uh, meal for the family if you're in a hurry. And it's a cheap meal. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to add in a half a cup of mushrooms. And black olives, about a half a cup. Okay. And then my tuna, which I'm using Tranquilite Tuna and Water. It's the Bumblebee brand. I've already drained it. And if a little bit of that juice goes in there, big deal. To make it better. Second can. All right. And then I'm going to give this a mix. Get all that tuna mixed into that. Then, I'm going to add in about a half a cup of frozen peas. It calls for carrots, but I don't want carrots in my tuna casserole. Ooh, my peas are still frozen, but that's okay. They'll cook in the oven. Okay. And if this is uh, too dry, you can always add a little milk into it, which, you know, I don't like it dry. I don't like it water, you know, juicy. So let me add just a little bit of milk. And yes, y'all, Dollar Tree milk. Okay. Let's see how that works out. I think that got it. See if I can get that piece broken up a little bit. Let's see here. Just a little bit more. Okay. That should have it. Alrighty. Mix that up. See? Look at all that goodness. 
Okay. The next thing we're going to put in is some um, sharp cheddar cheese. You can put as much or as little as you like. I'm not... I don't like a lot of cheese, but I don't like tuna casserole either, so... This is probably good for family and friends that want to come over and chat and have a cup of coffee. Alright, gonna give this a little mix. Mix it really good. Make sure we get it all mixed and incorporated really good. Alrighty. Can y'all see that? Okay. Next step, you're going to turn your oven on 350. And you're going to cook this for about 30 to 35 minutes, y'all. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a little more cheese in that, y'all. Yes. Can't have enough cheese for people. Come on. Get out of there. What I do with my cheese when I buy it, I buy the great big old packs of, uh, blocks of cheese. And then I bring it home and shred it and I get like four one pound bags of cheese out of it. I think it's just cheaper that way. Alright, now we're going to put it into a dish, a butter dish. Which we have right here. Okay, I'll put all that into there. Get it all out. Don't want to waste anything, y'all. Okay, now, you're just going to smooth it out. Just like so. 